Identify life terms in the list. What does this mean? What does it mean of life terms? We said life terms, it's a term has same power and same variable. Same power and same variable. We have here n power 2, n power 1, n power 3, n power 1. So we will take the variables that have same power and same variable. Okay? We don't look at the coefficient. So we have 5n and 5n and 8n, it's like terms. Here we have 5, here we have a power 5, a power 2, a power 3, a power 1, and a power 2. So our like terms here is a power 2 and a power 2 in the like terms. Okay, let's go next. We need to simplify these equations. How we will simplify? We will take the like terms and add it or subtract it together. First one is here 4a, 3b, 2a. Where is the like term? Where is the variable that same? We have 4a and 2a. So we will add or subtract together. What? We will add or subtract together. What is the sign between them? It's plus. So we will add. 4 plus 2 is 6a, and we have 3b, don't forget to write it, we don't have any no, any other term to add with the 3b, but don't forget to write 3b. Here we have x power 2 and x power 2, so let's add together. x power 2, here we have 1, but it's not written. 1 plus 8 is 9, x power 2, this plus 2 y don't forget right to y let's go next question solve each each equation let's solve the equations i will take it one by one and solve it first one we have 2y plus 28 minus 8y equals 5 so first i will take like terms together let's write it here 2y plus 29 minus 8y equals 5. Okay, so I will take the like terms together. Where is the like terms? 2y and minus 8y. Here, we will subtract. 2 minus 8 is minus 6y or negative 6y plus 2 9 equals 5. How we solve the equations? First, we remove the we, we, we are making a verb of order of operation. So, order of operation, the last step is to remove the adding or subtracting. So, here it will be the first step. Here it will be our first step to remove the adding or subtracting. Here we have plus 28, so it will be negative 29. So, I will subtract 29 from both sides. Let's subtract 29 from both sides. We have negative 6y, same, not change. Positive 20, 29, negative 29 equals 0, we don't write it. 5 minus 29 it will equals negative 24. Then let's remove the 6. I will divide negative 6 in both sides. 6, negative 6 will go out with negative 6 remaining is y. Negative divided negative is positive. 24 divided 6 is 4. Let's go. Next question. We have 3 multiplies x minus 9. This equals 30. It's question 2. What we said we will do here, what we said we will do here, we said we multiply, we will distribute 3 inside the brackets. How it will be? So we will multiply 3 by x and 3 by 9. So when we are multiplying 3 by x mean 3x. 3 by 9 means 3 multiplies 9 is 20. 
seven, and we have here negative we will put it because three here it's positive. Positive multiplies negative is negative. This equal thirty. Then we will add twenty seven to both sides. When adding twenty seven, so three x not change. Twenty seven minus will go with twenty seven positive. Equal zero, we don't write it. Thirty plus twenty seven is fifty seven. Then our next step is divide three in both sides. Whatever we are doing in this side, we are doing in the other side. So when we are dividing three, three dividing three is x equals fifty seven divided three is nineteen. Now we are going to solve the question three. Question 3 is x minus size the brackets we have 12 minus x. This all equals to 38. Let's solve. First, we have this x. First, I need to open the brackets. How we can open the brackets here? How we can solve inside the brackets? We will multiply the negative inside the bracket. How we multiply? We are multiplying negative inside the bracket because here the bracket it's negative, not positive. So a negative I will distribute inside the bracket. So our answer we do. I have here x. Don't forget to put this x. Negative multiplies positive is negative twelve. Negative multiplies negative is positive x. Okay. So I took the negative and multiplied inside to the sign. So negative multiplies positive 12 mean negative 12. Negative multiplies negative x it mean positive x. This equals 38. After that, we have here terms we need to combine. We have this term and we have this term. Let's combine. x plus x is 2x. Minus 12 equals 38. We have both normal now. I will add 12 to both sides. Here remaining is 2x. Negative 12 will go out to positive 12 equals 0. We don't write it. 38 plus 12 is 50. Then, so let's divide 2 in both sides. When we are dividing 2, 2 divided 2 is 1, so 1 we don't write, remaining is x. 50 divided 2 is 25. Question 4, let's solve question 4 together. We have that over 6. So here I need to remove all the down numbers, all the dominators. I don't want a fraction, so I, can, I know how to solve. Okay, so how we win? Remove here the dominator. We have two ways. We can multiply all the terms by a number. So I will remove the dominator. Or, or let's see. We can here, we have negative 5 over 8. So to convert it, we will add 5 over 8 in both sides. Okay. Here from equation we have z over 6 equals 5 over 8 minus will go with the positive. We have 7 over 8 plus 5 over 8. We have same denominator here, so we can add 7 and 5 is 12 over 8. So z over 6 equals 12 over 8. Now to invert the 6, 6 is dividing. So to invert, invert 6, I will multiply by 6 in both sides. By multiplying 6 in both sides, 6 will go out to 6, meaning it is 3. And here, we will simplify. Let's divide by 2 equals 3 divided by 2 equals 4 okay when we divide 4 here by 4 12 by 4 equals 3 okay so we took 6 divided 2 equals 3 8 divided 2 equals 4 and then we simplify 4 by 12 4 divided 4 equals 1 12 divided 4 equals 3 3 multiplied 
live, please. Thank you.